Hello and welcome back. Uh, so yeah, today I'm just going to carry on working through the app. I've been doing some tweaking on lately, and uh, one thing I've I've realised is even though I have the images loaded in the library there, when I first um, load any given image, it flickers a little bit. Once it's uh, been loaded once, it uh, doesn't flicker anymore. So what I thought I might do is see if in my stack of images where I display that image, I might display the next image and the previous image so that uh, it, it's pre-caching those images, so to speak. So uh, yeah, we'll have a wee look and see if that's going to prevent our flicker that we get. So uh, it's my camera image. That's the one we call. To choose the image. So. Will be the the stack here. That's the image we're displaying. displays that. But we want one below and one above. Okay, so let's uh, also ask for an offset that's going to cause an error down here. Where we display that one, so it's going to be an offset of zero when we display the actual image. Now. Let's go to the top of our stack. Um, rotation box center stack. Okay. So let's display the image. Wrap it in a widget, and the widget is going to be an opacity. And our opacity is going to be zero. 
and we're going to display minus one. So we're going to offset, so I'm going to do one less and one more. And maybe just to be safe, we'll also do five less because I'm going to go down and increment of five. Okay, so now if we what did we restart? We've seen some flickering. Give it rebuild. Okay. Oh, I'm still seeing some flickering. Out of interest, what happens if we? Did this with an opacity of zero point five. Is anything happening there? Stack just to see. Okay, position. can see because this is transparent I took my offset I didn't use my offset so plus offset every time we're referring to the um, Player number, we want to be referring to it with the offset. Okay, so the offset's working with, with, as a test down here, we, we're displaying it with partial transparency with an offset of plus five. So we'll put that back to a zero capacity. Now, no flicker. Give it that minus five. Hmm. 
is feeling less responsive, however. Is this... Uh, this is above the button. I wonder if that's an issue. Move them back to the top of the stack. We don't really care about where they are since they're invisible. Or with no opacity anyway. List yet. Change to a different colour. That won't be cache presently. No flicker. And it's responsive again. Nice. So hopefully that's not too taxing on the system to load all three possible images. The reason I'm looking to cache the image above the value we are is because if we change to a different color that's not being used and now I go plus that way we're caching the, the one up and we also cache one below and we cache five below so uh, yeah, a bit of a sneaky way to load the images just as we normally would but display it with no um, or basically make it transparent and that way best practice we should even put this before our uh, background colour um, this way it's actually loading the images above and below the value we're on and uh, yeah, it gives us a nice flicker free performance where previously we were getting a little flicker the first time we skimmed through the values oh now I think we reset everything go to another color we haven't used minus five I think it's going to flicker yes that's because I am caching positive five not minus five so if I save that back up now if I go minus five no flicker the chances of having a positive value that hasn't been uh, cached previously are a lot lower so no need to worry about that awesome I think that that'll do it for today's uh, optimizations um, I guess as an aside I did notice the other day when I I latched on to using my timer which I started uh, cancelling uh, timers that were in use for the um, this function here where I wanted to reset that timer if I changed to a different area of the software so that the timer didn't then force one of these to reappear. I overlooked the fact that I've been using the timer on a one second timer to identify if this number down here should fade away because there have no, been no changes in the last second. So uh, in that case I made a separate timer. So I made the update timer. So when I'm cancelling the timer off, I'm not uh, cancelling this auto-updating timer. Another small tweak I did uh, while I wasn't recording code-wise. I added this glow here. So um, if the players uh, so I added a box decoration around the image itself and if the player life is above 20 then I'm making the shadow blur radius bigger based on how much higher than 20 their 
life is. Now, I should actually change this. I want to change this to be the starting life. Um, there we go, starting life. Because currently, if I start the game on 40 life, um, we're getting some strange stuff. That's curious. Ah, it's trying to display image for forty. We weren't doing that before. That's not related to this part though, so let's make the threshold starting life for the, um, if we display that, let's go to the function here. Okay. So something to do with our offset is allowing us to return how such a simple thing can uh, catch you out. So the problem was when I didn't have a bracket around this I was doing some fancy divide by the starting life then multiply by 20 to scale this life globe number up up to a, an effective maximum of 20 whether or not they start on 20 or 40. But uh, um, order of operations, when I put the plus offset there, it was dividing the offset number by the starting life and then adding back to front. So uh, that, that solves that problem. And now our glow increases if we're above our starting life total. And not just if we're above 20. Awesome. I think uh, that's enough problem solving for the day and uh, we've made the app feel a lot slicker now with no flickering between life changes and uh, uh, identified where we went wrong with the timers and also fixed an unexpected bug with our potentially higher starting life totals there on our life tracker app. Awesome. We'll call it a day and uh, catch you next time. Have a great day.